the Kingdom Hall Joe's Witnesses. Oh, hi. Um, I just had a quick question. I was wondering if someone could help me with. My name is Christine. Sure. Yeah, do you have a minute? Uh, yeah, uh, I just, uh, it says Dean Anderson coming up here. <laughs> well, yeah, it's my Go. husband's name. Yeah. I don't oh, know why it doesn't okay. say my name. Hey, that's not fair. Oh, okay. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just how caller ID works. Like if, you know, yeah. if you have a joint account or something. Yeah. But, um, okay. well, I was reading things on JW.org because some Jehovah Witnesses encouraged me to um, look at it, you know? Okay. Uh huh. So, okay, there's a lot on there, huh? Um, oh, yes. Anyway, I, I was watch. reading The Watchtower um, February 15th, 1983, and um, I just wanted to run this by you. I had a question about it. Um, it says, God has always used an organization. Um, only those associated with the Christian congregation in the first century had God's favor. Similarly, Jehovah is using only one organization today to accomplish his will. To receive everlasting life in the earthly paradise, we must identify that organization and serve God as part of it. Did you ever hear about that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, um, the obvious question is, what was the organization after the first century up until the late 1800s, in, in their view? And say, uh, I missed part of that. Could you tell me a little bit more? Um, well, they're saying okay, God has... Like, could you repeat what you're saying? Oh, sure. They're saying God has always used an organization. And not only that, you have to identify it to have eternal life. So who was it from like AD 100 until 1880s? I mean, for like 1,800 years almost, you know? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I'm not... I can give you, uh, can you hold on for a minute? There's another person here. Oh, uh, well, no, no, no. What I, What do I you think, think about that? I think, I, I think I, I can tell you, but I just want to. No, I don't want to. I just, it's okay. Can you just tell me your thought on it? You know, that's, I didn't want to, it doesn't have to be an expert. I know you're all trained in the Bible and everything. Um, so, I mean, what's your thought on that? Like, how how could that possibly be true? You know, is what organization was teaching similarly to Jehovah's Witnesses during all that time? Hello. Hi. Um, yeah. Was hey. that guy telling yeah, you about uh, that I, question? Yeah. Um, you'll have to allow us to do some research on that. I know where you're coming from, but. At this time, I wasn't really prepared to discuss that. And if you don't mind, if you, uh, if I can take this number uh, that's on the phone, would that be a good number to call you back at? Sure, sure. I mean, okay. I, I've read a lot about church history and such. I don't really, not familiar with any organization that was anything close to what Jehovah's Witnesses teach. During all those centuries, actually, maybe right, there was. Right. It would sure be hard, right. hard to identify since you have to had to have to identify it to get everlasting life in paradise. There must not have been very many people that will be in the paradise during that time. Oh no, there will be uh, if they didn't have an opportunity to learn about uh, Jehovah and His Son. Uh, then they, it's not that they wouldn't have the chance again. So say they died, okay, uh, then Jehovah knows everybody, dead or alive, you know. He, he knows everything about every single one of us. matter of fact, it says that he knows the number of hairs on our head. So he will bring them back in the resurrection. There's no problem with that, you know. Jehovah doesn't write them off. Oh, okay, because I was just going by what they have written here, which I'm reading from the Watchtower. To receive everlasting yeah. life in the earthly paradise, we must 
identify that organization and serve God as part of it. And the article says God has always used an organization. So they can't really say except for that time when there wasn't one. It says in this article, God has always used an organization. And right. your your qualification there of this is is um, interesting, but they say this without qualification here in this article. Did they change their doctrine about that later? Because it is 1983. Um, I don't think so. Um, I, like, again, I would have to, you know... Um, do some research on that and get back to you. Yeah, it's really uh, interesting. An interesting um, yeah. statement. Um, and if okay. they, if you, if you, if you're thinking of um, individuals like William Tyndale or John Wycliffe, um, they are not an organization. And actually, you know what? They didn't even promote an organization. They promoted um, the simple gospel of putting our faith and trust in the death of Christ for yeah. us. The Bible says he bore our sins in his own body on the tree and his resurrection. Um, and all that is what we're supposed to trust in. So, you know, when if they try to say it was a, you know, a couple of people that liked the Bible, um, they don't have anything in common with Jehovah's Witnesses either because they just right. preach a simple well, gospel they're... that it w- they actually they I think they probably all even said salvation doesn't require like in going to any specific church or organization, it requires faith in Christ, like the Bible says. So, Right, right. Well, Jehovah has always had an organization. Okay, yeah, that's what we're talking but about. There was, but there was, but? But there, was it, there was this period of time when Paul said, talk about the apostasy. So, um, Well, then their statement doesn't make any sense. If that's going to be your answer, you can't, that's not an answer. Because Paul was talking about locally that, you know, wolves would come in and all that. He wasn't saying there would never, there wouldn't be any more Christians. Like Jesus said, no, well, um, the right, gates of I'm, hell will not prevail against his right. his church. Yeah, well, uh, that's not what I was getting at or saying. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um because he's always had, although because of the apostasy, it was very, like it was very hard to, uh, probably, I mean, it'd be difficult to, to uh, during that period, uh, would have been difficult uh, to know, uh, you know, for an organization, but you know what's a really interesting. Let me do some. Okay. Let, let me do some research, sure. and I'll have to get back to you on that. Yeah. To be honest with you, I wasn't expecting a question like that this morning. Yeah, maybe you can share it around. Like, we, we share... don't know. We we don't know everything. I mean, you know, off the top of our head. Oh right, right. I understand. We're, you know, we <laughs> we don't have we have a photographic mind. Neither do I. I people do that. <laughs> I'm reading it right, right. off the, the like computer. <laughs> so I don't right. either. Hey, right. maybe you can share it with yeah. some of the elders and, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're way... Well, I just you talked know. to one. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, well, I was just talking to one. Oh, okay. And he, he said we just have to do some research. On yeah, it. make sure you tell him it can't be a person because a person isn't an organization just because he liked the Bible or translated the Bible. As a matter of fact, those people they talk about um, have just mainstream Christian beliefs. They didn't have any, um, hardly any similarities to Jehovah's Witness, which they would call them like um, controlled by, don't you believe like, like Christendom is controlled by Satan? Like the people in Christendom and are Babylonish and controlled by the devil? I was wondering why they well, would point to John Wycliffe or Tyndale. They they just had mainstream Christian beliefs, kind of like today's like um, um, evangelicals or born again Christians or Protestants, you know. Well, um, I had an answer for that, and it just it, just restate that one more time. Oh, I was just saying. I think sometimes I was looking it up on the online library, and they try to point to. Wycliffe or 
John Huss or Tyndale, when they're trying to show there was something similar, you know, when they're trying to answer that question about God always used an organization, they point to Bible readers or Bible lovers, um, but they were mainstream Christian in their ideas. Um, you know, they, they didn't believe any watchtower things that I'm aware of. Uh, so, I mean, if well, you're, if well, you're they, in Christendom, they, they aren't you, aren't some, you? Um, yeah. Some of them did. Some of them actually did. Uh, but uh, again, I would have to do the research and get back to you on it. Uh, now, are, are you, uh, have you been a Jehovah's Witness before, or have you? Oh, no, had... no, no. Oh. I researched okay. the history, so I can't, I couldn't feel yeah. that they were um, speaking for Jehovah, because their, their history is all over the map, and their predictions, yeah. you know. If you read Deuteronomy yeah. 18, 20 through 22, it's Jehovah's arrangement to show you uh, who not to follow. And I think they fit that passage very much, you know, and what Jesus called false prophets. But, you know, I was just wondering about the organization thing. I was kind of shocked to see their statement, God has always used an organization, because they also teach, yeah. like you said, the great apostasy, and you can't identify uh, anything similar. Maybe they had well, there was okay. pacifists or something. Maybe they had one thing similar, but that doesn't really make them qualified now, according ask, to them yeah yeah can i ask you a question sure the number that came up here the area code is five two zero but do you do you live in the i guess because you're calling us you live in the area now? oh no no mm -mm. there's no there's oh, hardly really? any jehovah's witnesses around here anymore i wonder if they're still doing the preaching work here because like there used to be a place like um where, where, where are you at? Well, I don't like giving personal information, but where I am, um, they used to be like at certain places, like you could rely on it every Saturday, and now there, there's none. It's really weird. Like, isn't it supposed to be more like as the end approaches and stuff like that? I, what, where are they all? I don't know. Well, I can tell you this much for uh, so I, uh, almost, not quite, but almost three years we weren't doing house to house ministry because right of COVID, because of covid yeah i'm not but talking still, about that we time were, we, we were using the we were using the phone yeah i'm talking about now it's really interesting they haven't been at my door in i don't know 10 years maybe um i thought the work was supposed years. to yeah like speed up the work or whatever seems like yeah, they're really yeah. uh, getting burned out i heard it, the organization well, is actually declining uh, well, let me ask you this question. Sure. Do you, uh, has anyone, how long have you lived there? I know. It's uh, about 25 years. Whoa, 25 years. Well, the only thing I, I was going to say is sometimes we will get a do not call. Oh, uh, really? And, no, I didn't. I yeah, wouldn't do that. Uh, I love talking about the well, Bible. Yeah. Well, but. If someone in your house said, we don't want you to come here anymore, put us on the list. No, we, we no one ever did that there. here. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah, interesting. I, I don't know. I had a hit and run visit because, one time. Because we're doing, because we're, we're doing more uh, preaching than we ever had. Oh, not around so. here. Wow, not around here. Can't even find them at the usual spots. I had a hit and run visit like maybe 10 years ago where a guy came to just hand me something like about uh -huh. some event or something. And I asked uh -huh. him if he could come back and he said, sure. Like I said, I just had a particular topic I wanted to talk about. Uh, the two uh -huh. classes, like um, the great crowd and of the, of other sheep and the anointed. And he said, sure, you know, and he never came back. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that, that won't be no problem to discuss either. Oh, I would love to discuss be, that with you. I'd be more prepared to talk about that than oh. the other. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. But, uh, you could count it. Okay. Oh, you don't. I was going to say you could count it for time, but you guys aren't doing that anymore, are you? Right. Oh, well. Well, you could just do it if you wanted to, I guess. But anyway, well, give me a call sometime back and we'll, we'll talk about organization. See what. Oh, hey, maybe hey, you can I'll, help I'll, I'll, me. Can you write this number? What? Okay. Uh, I've, I've got a 
my the fellow elder. I'm not fellow, but my elder here. Oh, okay. He's, he's gonna put your name. He's taking your number down because once I hang up, it probably will. Oh, I uh, see. I haven't used the I haven't used a landline in years. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, does he have it? Okay. I, I appreciate. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for being so nice. God bless oh, you. Oh, what? Uh, what is your name? Christine. Anderson. Yeah. Christine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, listen. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. And uh, we, we'll get back. To okay. You. Take care. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Uh, right. Bye. But yes, it's, it's routed to my my number. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I was talking to some Jehovah's Witnesses, and um, they highly recommend JW.org, so I was just reading some things on there, you know, to see what it's all about. And um, I had a question about this one um, quote from an article. Do you have a second? Um, I'm, I'm really not prepared to to, uh, to go in that. And you, are you from Tucson? <clears throat> yeah. I would recommend you call the local congregation there in uh, Tucson because I'm you're calling me, which is in uh, Wimberley, Texas. Right. They don't usually answer the phone, and they're not out um, on carts anymore in, in my neighborhood. Um, even ones they've been at for years. I kind of wondered what was going on with that, with the preaching work. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to actually have to have somebody come here or go to a meeting or something. So I just thought I'd try somewhere else. Is it kind of okay, uh, well, slowing down now since they don't have to count the time anymore? No, if anything, it's ramped up. Wow, not around here at all. Um, interesting. Well, um, it's just a real quick question. It, um, you know, it's okay if you don't, you know, um, don't have time or something, but... I was reading this article. It says that um, God has always used an organization and to get everlasting life, you have to identify it and serve God as part of it. So, I mean, it's kind of the obvious question. Who was God's organization um, for 1800 years until Charles Russell? Well, that's during the time of the great apostasy. This article says that God has always used an organization and that even to get eternal life, you have to identify it. Okay, well, if, if, you, if, you're, if you're asking the question yeah. for information, then, yeah. then that's fine. But if you want this as a point of argument... Yeah, um, no, I just wanted to see what your thought was on that because I'm not familiar with any... Um, organization during that time that would have similar beliefs as Jehovah's Witnesses, really? Well, during that period of time, there were different individuals that kept true to individual uh, translation of the Bible um, and were actually instrumental in preserving the Bible. So uh, right, those that's, individuals... That, that's not an organization. Okay, well, you're, you're wanting to argue the point. You're not I'm repeating what the article so says. They say the spiritual food that you're reading here is from Jehovah, so I don't think it's rude to keep repeating it. It says God has always used an organization. I mean, Russell could have joined it if he was if there was an organization at his time, right? He started his own thing. Like I said, you're, you're wanting to argue and defend something that you're... You're not wanting to listen, and you've caught me at a bad time. So uh, I suggest that, that uh, if, if you want to argue the point, then do some more research. Why do you, you, why do you call discussions or questions like arguing? It seems like a thought-stopping technique, so that like a deflection. Do they teach you to do that? You know, this conversation has gone as long as it needs to. Okay. I hope you have a nice you day. You too. You too. God bless you.